Hi guys, Mr. Rough Waffles here. Around about five months ago, Treyarch uploaded the Nikolai memory segment video to their YouTube channel, and it gave us a really interesting insight into Nikolai as a character, but it also told us a little bit about how Treyarch planned to do their storytelling in Black Ops 3, throughout the duration of the Black Ops 3 life cycle. Today, they have just out of the blue, completely surprised everyone with the new Richterfund memory segment video. We're going to be watching it for the first time together. I'm going to be reacting to it live as the video goes along and then breaking it down afterwards because no doubt, no doubt at all, there is going to be some super duper juicy storyline information in here. They could talk about so many things in this. They could mention Primus, they could mention the Blood Vials, they could mention uh, Richterfen and Maxis and whoever else is involved, this third mystery character, their big plan, their grand plan that they've been teasing in pretty much every single map in Black Ops 3. They could talk about so many different things and I cannot wait to see what they decide to run with and oh man, I'm just so damn excited. So without further ado, let's get into this, watching the Richterfen memory segment video for the first time and play! My name is Edward Richthofen. It certainly is. And I have been trying so very hard to do the right thing. Interesting. That music. Long ago, yes. I made a promise, a vow, to protect him. In order to keep my word, I have done bad things. Very interesting. Very bad things. Okay. I do not regret the pain that I have caused, because none of it really matters. This moment. This me. Ooh. All of it will soon be gone. Nice imagery there. I have, there. Well, I have cheated. I have deceived. All for a purpose you could okay. never understand. I would not change a single thing. Give us some he here. thinks I do not know. But I do. The blood will protect me. What? Ah, goosebumps. <laughs> oh my goodness. We've got to watch that again. We've got to watch that again. Bruh. Trey, are you, how are you going to just give us that little snippet of info there? And then just not go any further with it. And just be like, Meh. sorry, but you gotta wait till DLC 3. Bruh! <laughs> you can't be doing that to me. Let's go back to the beginning. Oh, this is actually really, really cool. Really cool. There's some stuff in here that is just interesting, man. Back to the beginning. Here we go. Second time. Second freaking time. Oh. My name is Edward Richthofen. So he introduces himself. And I have been trying so very hard to do the right thing. Let's pause it there, straight off the bat, okay? He says, yeah, my name is Edward Richterfen, and I've been trying so hard to do the right thing. And throughout Black Ops 3, they've been trying to spin that narrative, right? They've been trying to make us think the Richterfen is actually good now. This particular iteration of Richterfen, this Origins character, is a good guy. But lots of people, myself included, have been skeptical of that because it's Richterfen, right? The dude has played a plot, played a plot? <laughs> He's played a plot in blowing up the blah blah blah! He's played a part in blowing up the earth. Need I say more? He's an evil guy, surely. But this Richterfen just so happens to be different from all the others because he's a good guy. He's trying to do the right thing. Only he can walk this path. The road ahead is long and dark, but I know where we are going. That. That is the key to this character, right? Treyarch have been trying to enforce that map on map on map, and they're doing it again here, saying, I've been trying to do the right thing, guys. My name's Richterfen, just in case you forgot at the beginning of the video there. My name is Edward Richterfen, and I'm a good guy. I swear. That's essentially what we start off with here. Long ago, I made a promise, a vow to protect him. I promise and vow to protect him. Okay, interesting wording there. Presumably he's talking about Maxis. In Group 935, around 1918, 1917, around then, Maxis takes Richterfen in as a student of his and says, okay, you've been studying at Heidelberg University. 
Your parents have died. I feel sorry for you. I want to be a father figure for you and set you on the right path. And so Richterfen takes up that position as a part of Group 935, makes some friends who Maxis isn't so happy about him having, and that's all fine and dandy. But at some point here, Richterfen seemingly makes a promise to Maxis to protect him? Seems a bit weird, right? Seems a bit ominous. Seems like there's a bit too much foresight there. Why does Maxis know that he needs Richterfen to promise to him that he will protect him? Does Maxis know that something bad is going to happen? Does Richterfen know that something bad is going to happen? In the giant radios, we hear about this vow. Long ago, Edward, you made a promise. Da 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 da. The giant radios are very hard to understand. All of that happens, and it's great in the giant, but why exactly that promise and vow originated is a little weird. Let's continue. In order to keep my word, I have done bad things. Very bad things. Quick pause. It's weird to hear Richterfen seemingly maybe having a little remorse in his character. That just hasn't existed before. So, interesting thing to point out. Let's keep going. I do not regret the pains that I have caused, because none of it really matters. I do not regret the pain that I have caused, because none of it really matters. In that moment, when he says that, where is he looking? He's looking at the moon. What do we know Richterfen did on the moon in Black Ops 1? What pain did he cause? Well, ultimately, his actions led to A, Maxis potentially being shot, B, Samantha being trapped in the MPD, C, Samantha then being body swapped with Richterfen and ending up on the moon in his body, but powerless with the rest of the crew, that's suffering that he's caused without a doubt. And so this quote here, obviously it's got one meaning of just him saying, well, yeah, all the times I've messed up, it's not going to matter because we're going to fix things or whatever. There's the sort of base level meaning that you don't need to read into too much. But there's always, with these trailers, there's always more that you can dig into and explore and sort of try and glean because of the fact that Treyarch themselves are releasing this. This isn't like a regular trailer that's going to go on TV or whatever. This is them literally telling the story. And so every frame, every sentence, every bit of dialogue, every whatever has some meaning behind it. Let's keep going. This moment. This me. I want to pause there. This is really interesting, okay? Richterfen is sitting in front of this sort of bonfire in the forest, and that effect is layered onto the Dereze facility, okay? Specifically, it's layered onto one of the teleporters, okay? Richterfen came out of a teleporter and proceeded to kill himself in the giant, so this could potentially be interpreted as a callback to that. It could also be interpreted as a callback to the fact that Maxis, after extracting Richterfen and co. from the site in The Giant, then destroyed the site, seemingly. It could also be a callback to the fact that in The Giant radios, Maxis is leading Richterfen around the giant facility and saying, this place is a shadow of what it once was, Edward, and it's quite quiet now. Um, sorry, the tour is quite boring. <laughs> he basically leads him around and says the facility is a shadow of its former self, all that sort of thing. So maybe this is, in a sense, sort of reminiscent of that idea, because the facility itself, which once was a hubbub of 935 activity, is now basically no longer operational. Who knows? Interesting, though, I really like the imagery here, and I'll be having a think about this in the future for sure. All of it will soon be gone. All of it will soon be gone. Lied. That's key. I have cheated. Okay, actually, let's just go back a little minute, okay? He says, all of it will soon be gone. That's interesting in itself. But he says, I have lied. And when he says, I have lied, the shot is on the blood vials. Then he says, I, I have cheated. cheated. And the shot is on his little bone saw here, okay? I have deceived. I don't think that's a bone saw. I think it's some other type of saw. But I'm going to call it a bone saw regardless. And then I have deceived. And he's got blood on his hands. 
once again, this is the sort of thing that we by all means have to read into as not only just being, oh, well, he's killed some people, he's got blood on his hands. There's definitely more depth here, okay? The lies of the blood vials, the deception, all of that, definitely something we can explore in more detail. For now, let's keep rolling, though. All for a purpose you could never understand. That's really interesting, that bit. All for a purpose you could never understand. First of all, who's he talking to? Second of all, why is he looking up? Is this more talk of the sort of higher power that is mentioned in various Origins messages that we've had? It's mentioned in Shadows of Evil as well. It's mentioned in several different places. In fact, I seem to remember it being potentially mentioned in the Nikolai Memory segment video as well. So, I mean, I'll have a link in the description down below if you want to check that video out. But it's interesting that he is saying there's this purpose you could never understand. And in that moment, sort of like a Freudian slip of the eyeballs, right? A giveaway of what he's thinking about. He looks to the heavens. Interesting. I would not change a single thing. He thinks I do not know. But I do. Oh my goodness, that is so epic, that little line. Oh, he thinks I do not know, but I do. <laughs> oh man, that is seriously Nolan North. 10 out of 10, bro. Oh, so he thinks I do not know, but I do. This directly ties in to the message in Zetsubo no Shima that we hear that Maxis is giving to Richterfen, and it's saying that there's been a knock on the door, someone has come to the door, this mysterious man, the sirens haven't sounded in months, uh, Maxis is saying that his, his hands no longer look like they are his own, all of this is happening, and there's a message amongst all those that says, pretty much, Richterfen, as Maxis this is, Richterfen, I've lied to you. I've not told you everything. There's more to the story than I have let on. And this bloke here has been telling me all this cool stuff and has introduced me to all these new ideas and told me what must be done and all of that. And now I'm going to sort of begin to introduce you to those same ideas. That's the crux of the message. But here, Richterfen is saying, sorry, pal, it's the other way around. I've been keeping stuff from you because actually this whole time, Richterfen has had knowledge of whatever the hell is going on. He's had knowledge of the bigger picture without Maxis knowing that Richterfen has this knowledge, even though Maxis thinks that Richterfen is only getting his information from him. So, let's go and play the final line here, because this last line... Oh my goodness, I love it. Play. The blood will protect me. Ah, so good. The blood will protect me. As flames engulf our tragic hero, the blood will protect me. Richterfen has had the blood vials since prior to the events of Origins, okay? Let me just make clear exactly why that's important. Prior to Origins, Maxis takes Richterfen under his wing, all of that happens. Maxis experimenting with 115, uh, excavating 115, in fact, on Excavation Site 64 in northern France. Doing that leads to some less than desirable consequences, and what ends up happening is, again, prior to Origins, Richterfen has to take the brain out of Maxis's decaying body and plop it in a jar, which we then make into the Maxis drone. That's all fine and dandy. Maxis drone ends up flying into this weird portal at the top of the crazy place during the Easter egg and saying that he's got to fix the paradox or something or close the loop. I can't even remember the quote right now. But regardless, that all happens. But prior to that, before that, Richterfen, this very character, at some point has gone to Mob of the Dead somehow, seemingly before he'd even teleported at all, before any of that had happened, before this weird other university influence had started creeping into his own, he somehow had had the foresight to go and get these blood vials because of the fact that they would protect him. He says, Maxis, you thought I didn't know, but I do. The blood will protect me, right? Why the hell? 
before any of this story started to materialize, did Richter Fun already know that the blood was going to be so vital that he would have to go from his post in Group 935 as a student all the way seemingly to Alcatraz to get this blood from these two prisoners who aren't even seemingly connected to things in any real way, but alongside that, those prisoners have memories of the cast. Is that this inter-universal bleeding that I've been talking about in other videos with the memories and stuff seeping between? Or is that something else? Is that an actual memory of them having been there? Because Richtofen's been there. Have the others been as well? If so, why had they met up before they meet up for the first time in Origins? There are so many questions here. It's a fascinating topic. But the fact that Richtofen says, and I'm, let's just, these, these last two little lines, man. Full screen. Huh? I would not change a single thing. He thinks I do not know. Oh. But I do. The blood will protect me. Whew! <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Nikolai's memory segments video was really interesting. Gave us a little look into the character. Talked about the fact that he's fought many battles, many wars, but I have lost only one. That was fine. Quite somber. Interesting look at Richter, uh, interesting look at Nikolai as a character. But this, this is so different. This just, first of all, makes me really excited for DLC 3. But secondly, just completely reinvests me in the eternal quest for us to figure out why the hell Richterfen has had this knowledge for all of this time. This has been the first insight into the fact that we've had that Richterfen knows exactly what is going on. He's promised, he's made this vow, he's done all that, but he's done that years ago now. We're talking like four or five years, probably minimum. And if that's the case, the fuck? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> it's so weird. I can't wait to explore this in future videos. If you want the zombie storyline or any real zombies news explained or talked about or discussed or enjoyed, my channel's the place for it, guys. You should know this at this point. Click the subscribe button. Click the like button. Hopefully you have enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hype. Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. Around about five years ago. <laughs> no, it wasn't five years ago. Five months ago, sorry.